Plus, syempre, especially, mahirap siya for me because, um, you know, iba yung kilos sa babae, di ba? And watching it talagang makes you clench your, your jaw, your fist while watching it, especially whilst doing it. So, si JN talaga, what a fantastic actor. I really respect him a lot. Husay, sobrang husay niya talaga. He made me feel comfortable despite the the difficult scene. But, um, it was it was hard emotionally, and sabi ko nga, no matter how much you um, try to take care of yourself, once you get into the scene, ma feel mo talaga the vulnerable moment, even if it really isn't happening. It's really not happening, pero it felt really I was felt really hurt and violated, even if alam ko inalalayan talaga ako ni J. When did you choose to, to tackle topics about boundaries and mm -hmm. how difficult it was? Um, can you yes. share something? Did your friend go through it? Did you go through it? You know, I have people um, who are, like, who've come up to me about certain situations. And I can't even imagine because I, I just basically, I did this to like to tackle this kind of story. Right? But I feel like... You know, um, storytelling is such um, an important tool to raise awareness about boundaries. Because, parang meron nga ding lumapit sa akin na, Lovey, I didn't know pagka, even if magpartners pala kayo, it's already considered um, crossing that boundary. And it's already called that if you say no. So, parang may mga realizations pa pala na kailangan talaga siyang mapag-usapan. So, ako, I'm just very glad that I was given the opportunity for me as an actor to have this kind of... Because I have my voice and I want to use it. And so, I'm really grateful that through film, I was able to raise awareness somehow. And I hope people get to appreciate these kinds of stories because these are the kinds of things that we need to talk about. What are your learnings mo as a producer here? No? Because, of course, it's a guilty pleasure. Hindi ka nalang artista eh. Hindi yes. tumaya ka rin. Yes, diba? yes. Ano yung mga, mga learnings mo and, mm -hmm. and you feel that next film mo mm -hmm. you'll improve or yes, yes. you'll apply? Well, there are a lot of um, things kasi to consider eh. I would like to um, have stories talaga with so much depth. And I'm so happy that I started with Guilty Pleasure. You know what's the beauty of this is because when people watched the movie, um, the trailer did not show exactly what the core of the movie is. It wasn't spoon fed. And then people left the cinemas, they were also surprised na ito pala yung nangyari sa movie. And it's nice to have that shock value talaga. And I would like to keep it that way if I'm given more projects and when I produce more projects, I want it to be um, something with you know so much sub substance ano talaga. Next? What are you developing? Um, there are a lot because there are different genres kasi, that um, we're developing. Um, but, huh? And there's something also international that's going to be out. But then different. Naman. So I want to, since Celavi is in, in French, it's Celavi, it means um, that's life. So we want to continue like, to tell stories of different types of people. And now we're Gabi, makeup to, pero emotional ka kanina. Nag emotional talaga ako. Kasi when I walked in, I just can't believe it. Hindi ako makapaniwala, my younger self would never, have never imagined. Sabi ko, nung nagsisimula ako sa pag-artista, number one was that they would always criticize me because of yung skin color ko. Masyad, and too dark morena. Yung parang beauty standards, especially before, was right. that you have to be lighter skin. At nung skin. pumasok ka, yun yung Oh, oh, yeah. yun yung normal. And Wala they would... Wala shades, 40 shades of yes, foundation. Yes, yes. So, parang hirap na hirap silang hanapan ako ng foundation. <laughs> and also, more than anything, they would intentionally make my skin lighter to make me more pleasing sa eyes. And eventually, you know, I, I, I told them, it's enough. We have to embrace, I have to embrace myself, who I really am. And you know, kasi sabi ko, matigas yung ulo ko actually, napagalitan ako before. <laughs> kasi napagalitan ako before because I was like, ay, kumukontra talaga ako, they would ask me to do all these things. And ako, no, 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 no. And you know, thank God. Thank God na I followed my my own voice. Took a while, syempre gradual yan. 
until you know sabi ko I'm gonna embrace myself for who I am bahala na si God yeah, you think, I remember you said kasi before yeah. you were talking about your your cup size. I parang, know! Yeah, in an event, in an event, right? And then now, diba, really, mm. but you are the standard of Filipina. Honestly, oh, parang, thank you. after you, so many followed suit. Thank you. You know what? It's it's already, you know, being a woman is difficult enough. You know, or being just a human being is already difficult. It's like, we want to just step out of the house or just feel comfortable. Embrace your unique self. Ako talaga, yun yung number one for me. Eh. How how can you give joy to others when you are, you're not happy yourself? You know, from within. Ako, number one talaga yan for me is, is joy and happiness. And when someone would ask me talaga, what is beauty for you? Before, oh, you would say all these things. Some 36, 24, 36. All of these um, beautiful skin color, you know. Um... Uh, or less all of these answers yes makes you beautiful but you know for me once I look inside the room I see a room full of people the one person that always stands out is the happy one and when the aura of that person glows talaga you just know that she is she's come to terms with herself and that's the kind of beauty you know, that I want you know, you know, you know, always there, la, lahat naman magaganda kanya-kanya yung sariling ganda pero alam mo kung sino lagi yung talagang umaangat yung masayang tao oh. and nakakatuwa lang pala yung makeup mo no? dual purpose yes dual purpose triple purpose, purpose yung salip ang dami oh, but may, parang yun yung edge mo nakita ko sa ah. mga makeup in the market yes kasi for me lahat ng mga makeup na meron ako ngayon I made sure solution siya sa lahat ng hinahanap ko so yung alala ko nung batang kiyapo days kasi si mukhang takbo ng takbo Ano siya, pawis na pawis lagi. Tapos laging nawawala na yung blush, yung makeup. So sabi ko, paano kaya, ano kaya yung perfect solution? And I remember that time, dun ko tinetest na yung makeup. Dun pa lang, tinetest ko na yung makeup. And that's how we came up with the blush na may cream and then may powder to set it. So ang tagal niya sa skin. And then, yung, yun pa pwede mo pang gamitin eyeshadow. Tapos yung um, contour and highlight, Eyeshadow, contour, highlight. You can use it for everything. Ginamit ko pa nga one time for lips din eh, to, to add that glow. So, um, these are like multi-purpose talaga. And siguro dahil mahilig ako sa makeup at saka I'm an actor as well, lahat ng products talaga pinag-aralan namin na magagamit in so many ways. So, may heavy duty kasi ang TV. Kung gagamit TV. TV kaya Oo. At saka ginag... Inamin ko na nag, nag-workout ako, naglalagay talaga ako na ba? Para may, ano, may glow okay. pa na na. So, not? it stays. It stays. Mm-hmm. I Andiyan love siya. it. I love mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Mokang approved. Mokang approved. <laughs> yes. I love it. Mm-hmm. That's it for me. Thank, Thank you. So, Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Ano Oh my God. Um... Mahabang, habang, mahabang usapan kasi yan with Direk Connie and with JN. At mahirap pa yun kasi shinoot namin yun 4 o'clock na ng umaga. Last scene pa namin yun. Um, yung preparation namin was, of course, pag nasa script, iba na pag nangyayari na in real life. Eh. Madaming sinabi sa akin si Direk na he's symbolism. Ang dami dun. Symbolism, like as simple as that. May isang, di ba, gumagawa ko, may karne doon na hinihimas-himas ko. Symbol pa yun ni Direk na sometimes women are seen as meat. Yung parang ganon. So parang yung mga simple things na ni, ni, nilalatag niya sa utak ko. And then, pumasok siya sa bahay mo, hindi naman na kayo, pero kinukuha. Yung parang, yung kilos niya doon, parang bahay pa din niya. So parang yung mga ganong description. Inaano niya talaga sa akin na you have to make, you have to feel na ini-invade niya talaga yung personal space mo and he is not welcome. 